Hello, you beautiful people. And James. And welcome back, guys. So today we bring you another new channel, and this one is called Casual Geographic, and the video is The Terrifying Truth About Imps. So, uh, from what I know, they're not very primatey. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, sorry about that, guys. No, no, <laughs> hey, they're mean. They're mean. They're mean. Um, but hey, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. If everyone can hit that subscribe button, we're trying to push to a hundred thousand subscribers. By million. The end, oh, by the end of the by the end of the day. So y'all got some work to do. Yeah, hundred million by share today. It, have them subscribe, share it, rinse and repeat, and we'll be good to go. All right. Hey, oh, whoa, like whoa, 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 <clears> whoa. <throat> Don't be scared to hit that bell uh, as well. Good job, good job, good job, <laughs> good job, Bulldog. And if y'all like this kind of content, hey, let us know by smashing a thumbs up, and we'll continue doing more like this. And if you don't Hell like yeah. it, hit the thumbs down, but we're still gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. One of the world's scariest animals just got a whole lot scarier, and Planet of the Apes is slowly becoming nonfiction. Because apparently, chimpanzees are out here murking gorillas. Scientists in 2021 witnessed a troop of chimpanzees basically jumping a family of gorillas. And when I say gang, we're talking about almost 30 chimps pressing a family of five. Keep in mind a silverback can weigh up to 400 pounds and could probably bench press your car. And according to witnesses, the silverback was eating chimps left and right like they were paper mache. But eventually the chimps overwhelmed the bigger silverback and even kidnapped a baby gorilla. I'm not going to tell you exactly what they did, but that family of five became a party of four. And it wasn't even the last time. Because later that year, scientists watched the same group of chimpanzees do the same exact thing. Square up with a family of gorillas, kidnap a baby, and erase its name from the gorilla census. And it's not like we didn't know chimps were about that. They often hunt bush babies and vervet monkeys, and we've even seen them use weapons like spears to do it. Oh, wow. But it's one thing to hunt something that what? weighs like five skittles. Aww. Going gorillas is another tier of Black Air Force activity. Which is why I'd rather be locked in a room with a jaguar than a chimp. Because at least a jaguar gonna make it quick. James. That's exactly right. Chimpanzees have been known to hunt using spears in the way they do it is not pretty. So what you gotta remember is these sociopaths share about 98% of their DNA with us, and they have more in common with humans than just hey, 98? They're part of the special class yeah. of animals that can create and use tools, and chimps are probably the best at it. They'll take twigs, stick them in mounds, and literally go fishing for termites. They'll use stones as hammers to crack open nuts, and it's actually a lot harder than it looks. They'll use leaves as sponges to drink water, sticks to steal honey from bees. Some have even been seen making and using stone flakes, which are really close to what early humans used to make back in the day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, chimps also time, use guys. spears by breaking off a stick, sharpening nah, one we're already here, man. and shoving it into the hollow part of a tree. That's too late. Because they know that's where bush babies sleep. Scientists watched them stab bush babies and force them out they of the hiding spot. They kill too many babies, they get wiped out. Where they proceeded to tear them apart addict. and eat them alive. So they don't actually <gasps> eat the spear the way a lot of people probably thought, but they're definitely too smart for everyone else's good. Also, fun fact, out of all the animals I've talked about, a chimp was probably the closest to ending my entire way of life. Mm. But that's a story mm. for another video. All right, so here's a story of how a chimpanzee nearly yeah. ended my entire way of life. Yeah. So this was in Senegal, that little country right there. I was visiting for a couple months, and me and some family decided to go to a zoo that, looking back, was way too run down to be called an actual zoo. The only thing separating the chimps from the general public were prison bars that were wide enough to stick your hand through. And before you even think it, no, I did not stick my hand into the chimp cage. I was seven, but I wasn't stupid. Now, if you wanted to see stupid, you'd have to look at the people around us. But some of them thought it'd be funny to throw things inside the chimp enclosure. Not to like hurt it, but I guess to scare it. Either way, nobody in that zoo was winning an award. Especially when someone started tossing rocks in there. Mm. Yeah, what? let the stupidity marinate. I just remember watching yeah, chimpanzees yeah, 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 yeah. sit there and take it. Until the people ran out of rocks. It wasn't until the chimpanzees started picking the rocks up that the people realized just what they did. They just yeah. gave an animal with thumbs and no regard for anything <laughs> human ammo. So yeah, as you'd expect, the chimp started fastballing the stones back at the crowd and all we could do was run and take cover. And I vividly remember crouching behind a bench and when I got up, a rock flew past not more than four inches past my right eye. Oh, I was really just bad luck away from either doing this video with a glass eye or not doing this video at all. Look, you can say size matters all you want. But four inches made a difference that day. This picture might look cute, but it's actually one of the most disturbing things you'll ever see. I'm about to tell you one of the most messed up stories you've never heard of. So this guy, yeah, Dr. Kellogg, had the question I'm sure all of us have had at least once. What would happen if you raised a human without teaching it a language or having it around any oh. other humans? Oh, like a nature what? versus nurture kind of thing. It's one thing to think it, it's another to be on CPS's watch list. What? So this guy had a human son, Donald, that he raised with a female chimpanzee he adopted named Gua. So he treated 10-month-old Donald and 7-month-old Gua the same in ways that would have had CPS, PETA, and the Geneva Convention pulling up. The experiment 
was weird. He would tap on both of their heads with a spoon just to hear the differences in the sound of their skulls. He would purposely make loud noises and provoke them just to see who would react first. At one point, he even spun Donald around on a high chair until he started crying. It got really dark really fast, especially when the human Donald started acting like his surrogate chimp's sister, walking on all fours, being overly aggressive, and even biting people. It's a shame the Pikachu meme didn't exist back then. Donald would bark like Gual when he wanted food and refused to walk on two feet even though he could. Eventually, the man who somehow graduated with a doctorate in psychology from Columbia realized that he was ruining his son. So he called the experiment off. The chimpanzee that they treated like a daughter and was part of their family, yeah, they packed her up and sent her away to be part of another experiment. Where she was unalived by pneumonia a few months later. As for Donald, he grew to be an adult and eventually became a doctor. Until he deleted himself at the age of 42. And to add insult to whatever seasoned hell this was supposed to be, if you go over to Dr. Kellogg's Wikipedia, he was described as a guy who had no tolerance for those who were unethical. Oh, Moral oh. of this video, Thanos should start a GoFundMe. Oh. I'm starting to think he was onto something. <laughs> Some stories just make you want to go off the grid and avoid humanity completely. Yeah. And absolutely. while that may not be an option for you with NordVPN, your internet can. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I'll be better. These, Nord some VPN of these people are so good at these Protect your identity man. by hiding your IP address. Yo, no, like a no, snow leopard not. in the mountains, you can what observe the do? world without having to worry about being <laughs> tracked yourself. I'm not going to tell you where he is. If you haven't seen him by now, just know you've already died twice. NordVPN allows you to connect to thousands of different servers. If you want to watch Spongebob on Netflix but can't because America loves to gatekeep, just know Australia Netflix will gladly accept you. With NordVPN, you get all the perks of living in the what, land down under SpongeBob. without also having to pay taxes to Not on Netflix. And without having to check your snakes for toilets. Do you have any idea how dangerous toilets are? Then you never have to feel like you're giving up speed for security. Netflix and with NordVPN's threat protection, you can so enjoy your online experience insane. with whatever that may be. I, I really don't Canada, judge. God, without also be, having to worry about ads, the, trackers, or malware. So to protect your data and get the most out of your streaming service, Make sure you go like, to nordvpn.com slash casual geographic to score a huge show. discount available only for a limited time. And with Nord's money back guarantee, it's basically risk free. You want to know what's mm -hmm. not risk free? Having a chimpanzee as a pet. Oh, trust me, this is uh. going somewhere. After this ad, though. Here's why you should never give a chimpanzee Xanax. Sounds like common sense, but apparently it's not that common. What? Travis was a 13 year old, 200 pound walking life lesson that lived with his owners in Stanford. Life lesson. He spent his entire life around people and was basically treated as one of them. He would do things like use the family computer, watch baseball on TV, he knew how to open doors with keys, and sometimes he'd drink wine out of a glass after a long day. Everyone knew him, and he would even greet police officers whenever he would see them around in a neighborhood. I want you to remember that for later. Travis even drove a car, and he did it more than once. It's like if this dude was an what? actual member of society. Now what would happen in 2009 wasn't out of nowhere, the red flags were there. He once climbed out of his owner's car and held up traffic for hours looking for a man that threw an empty bottle at the car. And there was one incident where Travis bit a woman's hand and tried to drag her into a car. Wow. But none of that was as bad as 09. I'm not gonna make any jokes because this was honestly one of the most traumatizing things I've ever seen. Because one day in 2009, Travis left the house with his owner's keys and the owner and her friend Charlotte Nash tried to get him back. The only problem was Nash used his Tickle Me Elmo to try to bribe him back into the house. And seeing someone else hold his Elmo pissed Travis all oh. the way off. Travis brutally mauled Nash, tearing out her face and limbs and not oh. even stopping when his owner hit him over the head with a shovel. And as the attack got worse, his owner had no choice but to literally stab him in the back. And a literal butcher knife to the back only made Travis angrier. Eventually police were called, yeah, the same Eventually. police from earlier. It took multiple bullets just to get Travis to stand oh. down. Travis limped back to the house, went to his cage, and passed away. The victim survived oh. the attack, but Travis had ripped over 90% of her face off. Like oh. lips, eyes, nose, they were all gone. Oh. I am telling you right now, do not Google that if you have a weak stomach. Those pictures personally f***ed me up for days when I first saw it. At the time, we didn't really know what set Travis off. Some sources said it was because Charlotte Nash was holding his Elmo. Others say it was because Nash had a different hairstyle that day, and that freaked him out. But a toxicology report confirmed that Travis the chimpanzee had Xanax laced tea the day of the attack. Travis's owner obviously got sued, but then she died of an aneurysm just a year later. It was just bad for everyone involved. But at the end of the day, the lesson what? here is the chimpanzee One never sec. went crazy. One sec, off record, quick. What's, what's Xanax? I don't even know what Xanax is. It helps you sleep. It's a sleep aid. Well, oh, it's, it's a sleep aid. Okay, or, or a downer. Hey, think, think of volume times 10. Volume? Volume. That's insane. Volume, whatever. It, 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 it's, it's yeah, yeah I, know, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. So Xanax is, Xanax is a, a sleep aid. It, it's a downer. It makes you just calm all the way down. Yeah. But it obviously had the opposite effect to a chimp. I don't think it was a drug, bro. I think don't because frizzes. You go to an aggressive dog. You take his bone. He wants it back. Chimp. You you 
Give me back my toy. Well, they, were he doing, don't, he don't they, they held it up so that way they could like lure him back in. House. Bro, bro, in his mind, that Emma was asking for help. Oh. Help! She got me by the legs, mate. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it he doesn't know. That's like he loves that thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm thinking right. he's already having a bad day. So, he's um, trying to leave the house. They're trying to make him do some tricks, right? Mm -hmm. and, if they, and, and if they've also drugged him, he's not in the best of moods. Right. So like, right. imagine being tired Oof. for everyone involved. But at the end of the so day, the did. lesson here is oh, the chimpanzee never went crazy. The chimp just went chimp. It went this chimp. man was attacked yeah. by an animal with a name that might just get me canceled. This is the work of Trombicula Day. But they're also known as guidelines you better not homie, chiggers. A word that sounds like it has the potential to offend multiple What does it say, Bulldog? What do you say? Not to be confused with a species of parasitic flea no, known no. as Jiggers. And I honestly, know, I don't know what sounds worse. <laughs> Chiggers, or Chiggas, which is apparently less offensive, <laughs> is a type of mite found all throughout the world, but the most infamous ones are found in the southeastern U.S., Midwest, and Mexico. I low-key uh. forgot the warning, so if you don't like bugs, this might not be the video for you. Because Chiggas don't really bite. They'll actually just burrow themselves into your skin, make a little hole, and then spit what? out enzymes that break down yes. skin cells. Which is exactly where the swelling and irritation comes from. The worst part is, you usually don't start itching until after the larvae falls off you. It's like you're not allowed to suffer until they're done with you. And wow. once they are, they fall to the ground where they end up becoming their harmless adult forms. And normally the bumps they leave heal on their own. Also, the chiggas in North America usually don't carry disease, they're just really annoying to be around. But yeah, I can't tell you who named them, but I can tell you they did not have a good home life. And I feel like someone owes me reparations for making me say it. Oh no. So somebody sent Pause me this it? and I So a scientist got bit by a, a <laughs> racist. A racist scientist got bit by that shit, and he said, <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> "A racist scientist got bit by one of those bugs." He said, "Man, what bitch am in this goddamn?" <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we can't put that in the books. <laughs> well. Okay. Twenties for a different time. That's what I'm going to go with there. The twenties yeah. era life and i feel like someone owes me reparations for making me say it so somebody sent me this and i actually think there's a right answer here but first i'm actually curious which one in order to receive 37 million dollars you have to survive 37 minutes so those are those are, yeah the gorillas literally won't mess with you unless it feels provoked yeah yeah well, just jaguar, don't stare at it. Don't jaguar stare, almost jaguar. the same thing as long um, as it's eaten and you and don't turn your back to it, you'll be all right. Back. Komodo dragons yeah. will kill. Komodo dragons will go after you. Yeah. And the rhino, yeah, they're 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 just skittish and they'll get you no matter what. I think what they're trying to do this challenge, everything would be in a hostile environment. You'll be safest with the gorilla. Yeah, or a jaguar. But like, like, like yeah. for instance, if if the gorilla is coming at you, you'll be the safest with the gorilla. Well. Oh. So if any of them are coming that's, that's at you, you're dead. That's what I'm dead. trying to say. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, trying to yeah, say. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, yeah, 100%. one would you rather be coming at you like you pray? The Komodo dragon. I'll jump over that hole. Oh, oh, dude. It, it'll be, I don't it'll know. be easier to like because if you get yourself on the back of the Komodo dragon and you just hold, hold its head down, yes, they're strong, but that'll probably be easier to wrestle with than anything else. It's a goddamn but, lizard. I, I know their nails are like freaking we're, we're not inches fighting. Long. We just got to survive. I'm going to be jumping yeah, over yeah. the Komodo it's, dragon for 30 oh, minutes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 37 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to be, I'm not going to okay. fight it. Okay, it. okay, it would probably ease, it'll be easier to. Depends how big the room is. That is true. Well, like a, re mm. a regular bedroom, pretty much. <clears throat> it's a lose, um, lose, lose situation. Yeah. Hey, hey, let me it, go Okay, I'll, I'll choose, choose like, the one, one that'll kill me the fastest. I'm going gorilla. <laughs> okay, I'm choosing gorilla. Well, somebody sent me this, and I actually think there's a right answer here, but first, I'm actually curious. Which one would you choose? Like, which one do you think you'd have the best gorilla. shot with? Off rip, we can go ahead and eliminate the rhino. For a couple reasons. Yep. Rhinos have really bad eyesight and even worse anxiety. Mostly because they have to share a zip code with animals that would literally eat them <laughs> balls first. Life is multiple <laughs> choice, and rhinos consistently choose battery. So if this anxiety <laughs> riddled war horse has a panic attack near you, you will be a chalk out. The Komodo's an instant game over too. Because yeah, Komodo's don't flatline their prey with bacteria the way we thought they did. This homicide gecko is actually venomous. And they've oh. been known to dig out human graves and eat the corpses. So don't think you can't get meal prep too. One bite and it's credits. And there's nowhere in the apartment yeah, you can it's go credits. with a 10 foot leather assault yeah, weapon. Look at the size of them. Now the Jaguar is actually an interesting one. Jaguar attacks on people are really rare. They're usually in self defense. So you'd actually have a better chance of surviving in a room with a jaguar as long as you don't provoke it or do anything to make it think you're However, 
Yeah, Jags but are I solitary. Added, and in a one bedroom apartment, you, if that Jaguar feels like you're in its space, yeah. it could be lights out. Like we said, which is yeah. why your best yeah. shot is actually with the gorilla. They're natural yes. pacifists that won't waste the calories attacking something that they don't view as an immediate threat to them. So as long yeah. as you don't look them in the eye or smile at them, unless you're trying to be Harambe, <laughs> your best said. chance at winning and you know living is with the gorilla. I want to show y'all yes. something. So I made I'm a video smiling. on this, and well, a lot he, of people are commenting how they choose the Komodo, the since all they'd have to do is climb a counter, just wait there for 37 minutes. Scary. Some even said they can manhandle the leather assault weapon if they needed to. I'm not going to talk about how Komodos can be nearly 10 feet long. I'm not yeah, going to mention the fact huge. that young Komodos can climb trees. And I'm certainly not going to acknowledge the fact that out of all the animals here, Komodos are the only ones that will actively eat humans. Nah, I'm yeah. not going to talk about any of that. Instead, I'm going to show you this. Oh, mm. oh the rest oh, yeah. of nah. I have never seen this before. Is that, dude, these things are huge, and they run faster than you. Hey, Bulldog. No further comment. When I said, when I said, <laughs> I'd rather have the Komodo dragon after me. That yeah, yeah. Godzilla, I take uh, that back. Exactly, bro. I even said it. The thing's a lizard, dude. <laughs>